Basically, the bad news is all my videos are no longer on my channel. Your boy is finna be on a TV reality show. So, man, it has been a minute. It has been a minute since I was face to face with you guys. It actually kind of feels a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. But I wanted to make this video before I actually have to go to the airport. I got my stuff packed over there. Basically, if you guys look at my channel, we got some bad news, sad news. But honestly, it's not that much of bad news and sad news as I think it is, but to other people because like when it comes to like memories and just like all the hard work and effort that was put into this channel. But basically the bad news is all my videos are no longer on my channel. Matter of fact, if you go to my channel right now, this is the only video you will see that is on this channel. And if you guys could think from way, way back, from the first video that was on this channel to even a couple months ago, even just even a couple years ago, all those videos are gone. Now you're probably asking me, are you mad? W what are you gonna do next? Matter of fact, where have you been? Now let me go ahead and catch you guys up to speed on everything that's still been going on because let me tell you, I still have a lot of stuff going on. This YouTube hasn't been as something as much as I've been working towards as I should have. But this happening to me kind of makes me wanna kind of get back on it, kind of got that spark kind of back into me because basically let me tell you guys what happened. So as you guys know, YouTube, they give out strikes, all that type of stuff like that. Basically, my channel ended up getting a strike. And when you get a strike, it puts like an effect on your channel to where every video you upload, no matter what it is, it's going to have a lesser chance of hitting the algorithm just because my channel has got the strike. Now, something you can do is delete all your videos and it resets your channel. So I'm basically kind of like resetting my channel, like starting over from basically zero again. But then there are subs still subscribe to this channel so everyone that is still sub to it and if it does pop up on your subscriptions at least you'll be able to see it so I was like let me go ahead and give this a try we're gonna see what happens we're gonna keep doing what we should have to do because the fact that I have this YouTube channel and the fact that I have a following and the fact that I have an audience that actually messes with me I'm not gonna let it go to waste but back to what I was saying though I feel like this happening to me honestly was honestly the best thing that could have happened to me over this entire time, these last couple of years, this last like year or two, honestly, I haven't just kind of felt the same when it came to just doing videos because it was just like, do I really want to do that just for views, just for videos, or do I want to do something that I actually enjoy doing? So when I'm actually doing it, I actually have fun doing it. I'm not just, yeah, I'm just doing this because I, you know what I'm saying? This is what you guys like definitely want to see, but it's not something I don't want to do. So let me catch you guys up to speed what I've been doing off the camera, off the grid. First things first. Hold on, first of all, let's, let's bring up the energy because, like I said, this happening to the channel is not a bad thing at all. Honestly, it feels good to re reset, restart. You smell that? It's like a refreshness, you know what I'm saying? We're starting over. And honestly, now, I don't really, like, talk to any other, like, YouTuber people to collab with, stuff like that. So now I can really focus this channel on me. I'm definitely watching out who I do videos with. I bring videos in. I might not even bring people in my videos depending on what we're gonna do we're gonna change up the whole channel we're gonna get this back going and we're not gonna let this go to waste because this is something so special you can't just let go to waste you know what i'm saying you just can't let go to waste i have people i mean literally i still you know i'll be outside and stuff like that people still be noticing me oh my god you're doing the videos people taking pictures of me with me i'm like and i haven't even posted videos so that just goes to show you that i'm still you know what i'm saying i have the opportunity to get this going and I still have the hype around me here and there to get things going. Like literally, I'm the, I was literally at this club or whatever, just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Next, you know, I'm talking to like this, you know, these few, few people right here, These all these girls come up, oh my God, you did the one videos, can we take a picture? Anyone starts looking, I mean, we're in the middle of the floor. Literally, this all happens and like, I think I record a little video and I was like that, whatever. I was like, this is actually crazy. I was actually pretty shocked, you know what I'm saying? So that right there was like, why are you not, you know, still going? When you still have people like this who still kind of like look at you as someone that's really doing something. I'm not saying that I'm not doing something because let me tell you what I'm what I'm doing now. First of all, like I said, let's get some kind of applause right now. Hey man, I got a new clothing brand called Solo Lifestyle. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You got the hearts on the back, you feel me? And on the front. So we have sold out not once but twice. I literally just started this clothing brand. The link is down below in the description. It's crazy the fact that we have sold out and I didn't even put it on my main platform, YouTube. 
This is just Instagram. So this solo lifestyle is about to be worldwide. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Make sure y'all go to the site and go check that out. We got some hoodies coming in. Matter of fact, here's some pictures right here. Once again, so like this video isn't a video. Like yeah, it's sad. You know, all my videos is gone, stuff like that. But it's still okay. Cause you know, at the end of the day though, YouTube wasn't the only thing that I've been doing. I don't know if you guys see behind me now. I got a full setup. I've been on Twitch basically almost every day. Been going crazy over there as well. Instagram still going crazy. Still getting sponsors. Matter of fact, like I said, I'm taking a flight. Alexa, what time is it? 9.15 p.m. I got a flight literally in like six hours. And I'm going to be uh, out there with a company shooting some stuff. And I also got something else a little bit special. Your boy is finna be on a TV reality show for three months where... I'm gonna be in a house of people I don't know, eight girls, eight guys. It's it's a lot, that's a lot. I've been going through a lot of Zoom calls. So look, basically, like I said, we've been still doing a lot of stuff, still been trying to stay in motion, still just staying in motion. That's all I can really say, you know what I'm saying? We're not giving up on this. That's one thing I can say. I may have not been on YouTube as much, but I've still been doing the clothing brand. Like I said, the stuff I've learned, the stuff I learned, bro, the stuff I learned from a clothing brand, I mean, honestly, like I said, I'm glad, like Lil Baby said, what do you say? I'm glad I've been through stuff. It made me a monster. Or I'm glad I've been put through stuff. It, it made me a monster. Because low key, like, I see what he's saying for real. It's like when you go through things, you have a different perspective on anything. So it's like, if my YouTube wouldn't have, you know, fell off, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you guys can say he fell off, whatever. Because I know at the end of the day, I know what I'm still capable of. And I know what I can still do. You know what I'm saying? So as I was saying, though being put through all this it makes you like look at different options so you know i was looking at the clothing brand i was looking into that started that started learning about stocks and you no know, margins and all you know what i'm saying all types of stuff like that i've learned getting into like rentals and like airbnb stuff like that so i'm glad this actually happened because it like i said it opened my eyes to do a lot of other stuff and whoever would have thought you'd be able to do it if something else wouldn't have happened you know what i'm saying so now i can bring the clothing brand to my youtube and to put those together then i can also you know once i get up get the bnb can put that on youtube a lot of stuff bro a lot of stuff is still going we got motion still happening i promise y'all like i got said on that board by the time i'm 25 i will be a millionaire somehow some way and uh, this is this is all part of the road it's all part of the journey like i said i appreciate everyone being part of the journey we lit on oh god you know what i'm saying we lit now you know what i'm saying like i said i got a flight got a cut not too long ago literally my boy rike like i was gonna get my hair retwisted again but I'm like, I literally just got my hair retwisted. But when I come, like, by the time I come back, then it's the time to get it retwisted. Now, there's no point in getting it retwisted and then I'm out here and then messing up. I might be parasailing, I might be in the water. You know what I'm saying? I might mess up my hair. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video before I even kind of went on this trip. I feel like now, I've been, if you guys have been keeping up on Instagram and Snapchat, y'all still have been kind of seeing me travel and do stuff like that. And I also am starting courses on my Instagram. If you guys want to know how to start a clothing brand, grow a YouTube channel, get clothes from sponsors, all that. So make sure you guys go check that out. I'll give you guys all the sauce over there. And RJ Squad, I got to say it for the one time because I am bringing it back. Join the RJ Squad because say it with me, I'll wait. We be cooking, you know the vibes, man. If y'all been in the Twitch, y'all know we've been bringing that back. Go subscribe, go mess with the Twitch, man. The link is down below. Like I said, we've been going crazy over there too. I'll be playing the game with y'all. I got a, I got a PC set up. You see, you know what I'm saying? I got a 3P, you know what I'm saying? Set up. Also, dang, you guys haven't been knowing a lot of stuff. Um, y'all know I moved, right? Y'all know I moved. I might have another, another little room in LA so I can fly back and forth. There's a lot of stuff, man. It's not over for the kid, you know what I'm saying? We have a lot of things going, looking good now. You know what I'm saying? Look a little more grown, look a little, you know what I'm saying? I know you see it. Hey, I might cut it off though, I ain't gonna cap. But now uh, you see it though. We back, man, like I said. We back, we better. Honestly, we're gonna take a different couple routes with the channel, and we're gonna see which one works out the best. I'm not really worried about the views, you know what I'm saying? Because one way or another, <laughs> it's gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? It's gonna be all right. We gonna. You're going to be all right, I promise you that. Dang, it actually really does feel good to be in front of a camera talking to y'all again. Because it doesn't feel like I'm not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like talking to myself. Like, I actually feel like there's going to be people watching this. So I have a reason. Like I have people, I got feel like there's people right here like listening to what I say. But just like right here, you know. Like I said, man, now I don't really talk to nobody like that. When it comes to like the YouTube friends and stuff like that, everybody for real. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to come out here talking, you know what I'm saying? But everyone on here is everyone is really kind of like fake for real. Like people only really care about the most person that has the most clout. 
and that shit only goes for a certain amount of time. But you, when you're on your doing your own shit, and anyone's gonna try to ride you, wait, hold on. You know what I'm saying? No, you feel me? Like you know, be, anyone be riding me? Like chill? Like they be riding me, bro? I be peeping all that shit, bro. I'm like, so y'all moved to a whole different state, and it's still not working out the way you thought it was gonna work out. So I'm like, that's why I'm cool on where I'm at. And hang out with only a select few that don't even do what I do. So uh, there is no competition or like anything there. You know what I'm saying? So all the videos, you know, RIP. RIP in the chat down below. It's tough. It is tough. But like I said, it's like, I mean, everyone that used to be on my channel anyway that was in those videos, I no longer really even talk to anyway. You know, it, it does suck though because I do want to look back on those videos myself. I think I will have the option to where I can. And I probably can even download them and probably re-upload them. But I'm like, bro, feels good to have a fresh start. This is the only video on the channel. And that's it, man. We're going to do a couple different routes. And we're going to see how this works out. Facts. Also, we're dropping a mixtape. We got a lot of stuff I forgot to even tell y'all, bro. Wow. It feels good, bro. It feels good. I know we, I know we are capable of. Like I said, the fact that I started this clothing brand, sold out. I got a whole clothing brand room. I have a whole photography room over there. I got a whole streaming room. I still got everything. I had to talk. I had to talk myself into it. I'm like, Rod, you got everything you need. <laughs> you got everything you need. You got the equipment to make music. You got equipment to stream. You got equipment to make videos. You got a room to do the clothing brand. You got a room to take photos and videos for the clothing brand and the sponsors. What are you doing, kid? I was like, no, but people would would be. Would wish they'd be in your position. I talked to some people and they're like, bro, you're lucky. So I had, I had to really just lock in. You know, I had some people telling me like, bro, if I had what you had, for real, for real. People say that though, but they don't really know what they really would do with it. They just say that though. But the fact that people really get so hyped if they was in your position, just goes to show you like, you can really do some shit. If you really, you know what I'm saying? Get some shit going. But yeah, man, look, that's the end of it. We're gonna be locking back in. Go check out the merch, the Twitch. All that's down below. All right, J Squad. Catch you on the next video. Peace.